Now in this particular video, we are going to learn about the nslookup command. Okay, so basically this command is used to find uh, like information about the DNS record. Okay, so previously in the host command we have find the DNS record. So and already we have covered uh, what is the domain name server. Like uh, it is used to change the uh, domain name to the IP address and vice versa. And also various DNS records like uh, CNAME record we have covered and TXT record a record and four a record we have covered okay so many records we have covered till now and we will use this nslookup command to uh, get uh, information about these particular records okay so let's start with the first basic one just start with google.com okay let me close this caps lock nslookup google.com Okay, done. Here you can see the address that is uh, this is IPv4 address and this is IPv6 address. Okay, so uh, you can uh, uh, like what we say use this uh, like this also you can use nslookup hyphen type equal to it means you are just defining the what type of record you want. Okay, it may be a record. Okay, let's search for a record hyphen type a and just provide the domain name and here you will get the address okay so in this case you are getting this uh, let me search for another domain name uh, let's take uh, some another domain name what should we take uh, I'm not getting okay facebook.com okay so here you can see this is the uh, particular IP address of facebook.com and this is for google.com so let me uh, just uh, copy this IP address and paste it in the browser whether we can access it or not let me just paste it here okay I think I'm not copied it okay just copy it and I will just open up the okay here I will paste it let's say whether it is accessible or not google.com with this IP address okay so it is accessible and similarly we will try for our this one facebook.com I don't think it will be accessible but still let's try okay it's showing not recommended I will accept the risk let's say what happens I hope you have watched a scam okay so here we you can see uh, we are on this facebook.com page okay means we can uh, go on this particular page using IP address okay so uh, moving forward uh, if you want to get the record of uh, like 4a record uh, like a a a a and a okay I hope I counted till 5 okay so here you, you can see the version 6 like IPv6 address of facebook.com now let's try some another record for another domain uh, let me check for a record for some other another domain like I will now I will go for uh, YouTube okay here you can see the IP address of YouTube I we know it may be accessible or not accessible using IP address okay that particular domain so now moving forward to the different records so we will search for the uh, txt record okay let's search for txt hyphen type equal to txt youtube.com okay so here you can see this is the google site verification some kind of text is stored okay and uh, if i go with some different domain name like facebook okay let's check okay these are the texts okay let's check for some another domain also uh, I will just check for google.com okay here you can see different different uh, like many texts are present there Atlassian wanters domain verification okay many things are there 
and now moving forward let's uh, check for the mx record that is the mail exchange record okay it it is basically we use it to like sending the mail or receiving the mail from so from any sender okay so uh, let's use it i will just uh, change this from type to mx and this is you can see the mail exchange which is smtp.google.com okay uh, we have used this command like for like big giants so why not to use the, these commands for the small uh, websites like let's take uh, some let me search it search it for um, I will open up Chrome here I think it will this Firefox will take much time in this okay we are here just search for Linux commands okay so let me take Java T point okay mm, yeah let me close this okay now I will use Java T point a record Java T point dot com okay so here you can see this is the a record and here you can see true IP addresses are pointing to the same domain uh, let me check I will just copy this IP address and I will put it in my browser let's check what happens whether it is accessible or not I don't know why it's not working of bi-directional copy paste is not here I think let me enable those settings yeah I think now it should work control shift C oh yeah now it's working okay so here you can see uh, direct IP access is not allowed for Java T point let me check the another IP address it will be it will throw same error I think let's see what happens okay same same thing like direct IP access is not allowed so I hope you got it how you can find the different records using a next lookup command so that's it for today's video and we'll meet in the next video with some amazing commands so thank you thank you for watching and we'll meet in the next one thank you